Alright, now to the to the other side mission area. The Hall of Champions. Alright, <laughs> let's get this thing let's get the shindig started. Alright then. This so, looks like a lovely place. With a lovely lady guarding the entrance way guarding. That's a dude. This is the Hall of Champions! A living monument to the founders of this great land! AKA the Kickstarter backers. Admission for one? That will be 5,000 gold, please. One, one. Wonderful! Clearly a discerning patron of the arts. Enjoy your visit! Uh, while my ears recover. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sorry, that voice was incredibly annoying. Uh, no, it was right on cue for what I would imagine this being. The fuck? They locked us in here. This place is haunted! There are, no, there are ghosts roaming the halls and we're all trapped here! That includes you! <laughs> so, are you going to do something about it? I don't know. Is there anything in the wall? Nope. No. Okay, so... There are actually secrets within secrets here. Yeah. I'll get to what they are a little bit later, but for now, yeah, this place is swarming with ghosts. The only way you can kill them is with this thing. Hitting it causes it to release an energy wave. But of course if they're, uh, invisible, if they're reforming themselves, it won't work. So... Grab the money! We need the money back! Wait patiently. There we go. Okay, so now you can see all the pictures here, right guys? Yeah. Kickstarter backers. Yeah, yeah, I said that. Yeah. And what the heck? There's a dragon. Huh. That's cool. So lots of backers and whatnot. But there is actually an interesting story regarding one of the other backers. Oh really? One of the biggest ones. From the Game Grumps. Uh -huh. They didn't add him in until last minute in a patch. Uh there's a little uh outflow in the wall. Money, damn it! Alright, what does this person have to say? Oh, oh, great! You blew my secret hiding spot! Now the ghost gets us both! Alright, a uh, little thing about this area, uh, where the where the swords are, is where there's no platform. Ah, uh, okay. That used to screw me over all the time. Also, you can't see the fortress in here because this is an extension of the area we were in earlier. So when this lights up, the rest will light up. Uh, right. you gotta hit the wall of this thing. More right. ghosts! Joy! This isn't ghosts. Goodness, greatness, great glowing balls! Of energy? People of Earth, lend me your energy! <laughs> oh no. Oh yes. Okay, there's nothing there. Alright, to the right, to the right. We gotta light up everything. I can't believe I saved up all my money for this. I've learned during my travels that ghosts hate light. Now, now you know too. Yeah, we've been kind of poning them for a while now. Also, that one also happens to be a trick one, so, uh, yay. Yeah, find, figure out which ones are which and Joy. Alright. And boosh! Alright. Boosh, badoosh, badoosh, badoosh. There are actually secrets within secrets here, right? Right. Some that they actually added when this was ported over to the PlayStation. And damn. Damn the damn damn the damn damn damn. You dropped your balls! Seriously? Seriously! Nice shot. Okay, try the wall. Go up. See if there's anything there. Okay, nothing there. Okay. Always good to check. Now check the... That wall is definitely it. Yeah, check the check the bottom wall. And go through. Okay, this is the last music sheet for the year, right? Ah, ghosts never reach me in here. Solid walls, my friend. 
totally safe. I'll get back to you then. So, right here. Go ahead and grab the music cheek, and then go all the way over to the other wall. Because I will point this out for our viewers on PlayStation. Now, right here, if you jump up and then shovel downwards, just like that, you will unlock the D the the hidden bonus for uh, PlayStation users, which is Kratos. Yeah, that right there is the place to go. Okay. All right. So keep going. And I gotta say, I saw the bo I saw a video of the Kratos fight. Holy crap! Is it awesome? Oh boy. Yeah, it's a pretty intense fight. And a pretty epic one, too. Alright, so... Alright. I think there's one on the other side. I know there is. I'm trying to combo with the ball. Yeah. It. Just ignore it! <laughs> Are you doing this to cheese? No, see, or see, just see it's a, we, we're missing a ghost somewhere. I huh. think this is... Huh. Nah, uh, there he is. There's the little fucker. You need to kill all the ghosts in order to be able to, uh... In order for every area to light up, which allows you to progress to the, uh, boss of the area. Yeah. Yes. Which is a very annoying boss, if you ask me. Here it is. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I believe the name of this song is Corner, and is awesome. Not much like Phoenix Wright's Corner, but still. Ow. You just gotta juggle your balls. What is with this? This ghost is just trying to piss us off. Oh, it's succeeding. This is an insane boss, though. Yeah, it is. We got all kinds of shenanigans going on. Even making doppelgangers. I love ghosts. Yes, you are. I am a ghost? When did this happen? Uh, since Lavender Town? You're not gonna pull some Sixth Sense bullshit on me, are you? Legends are dead all along! I thought that was the shiny. No. No. It's six cents. Uh, anyway, Hiddo, thank you so much for saving us from the ghost menace. Is it just me, or did your voice change? How thoughtless of me not telling you the place was haunted? He thinks he was possessed. Then again, that's the risk you run paying for something in advance before you know the details. Oh, fuck you. Please allow me to reward you for your callous bravery. Fifty. Coins. Talk to him again. Talk to the fucker again. Please come back and enjoy the collection anytime. Motherfucker. Took our money. Yes. And you know what the irony is, right? What? He's talking about uh, paying, paying money for, for... The for the Kickstarter. Yeah. yeah. Don't pay money for something you don't know in advance. What the fuck did you... <laughs> Alright, let's quickly go to the Iron Whale for the little treasure pickup. You want me to do it or do you want to pass it off to uh, Legend here? Legend? I wouldn't mind doing it. Alright. Alright. Iron Whale. It's good to be back. Holy crap, I might be in for it. Uh, go that way. It's basically a one bottomless treasure drop, so no pressure, just grab all the treasure as much as you can. Well, shit. You've never really come here before, have you, Legend? Yeah, this one I haven't done as much. I highly recommend the propeller dagger for this one. It's now a torpedo dagger, though. <laughs> Woo! And then... Balloons! Tentacles! 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 Release the Kraken! And it's dead. Rub. Alright. Well, I could use some rum after the last episode. 
And hey, we're back to a decent amount of gold. All right. We're not poppers anymore. With that done. There's one more. No, there's one more bonus level. Monday. Where? Well, yeah, there is. One. Go back. Go back. Actually, no. We need to wait to do that one. So go back to the city. Hang on. Isn't this one the? That's that one requires. Frigid flight. We can do this. That one requires the propeller dagger. Yeah. Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah. This is frigid flight. So. Okay. Zero. You want to take this one? Ah, uh, fine. I'll do this. Oop. I'll Ooh. do this one. Okay. So talk to the safe there. What so dangerous cause planning to go further? That's a lot how to fly. Ha 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 ha. Oh, do you mean like this? Ah. We haven't done that area, have we? Yeah, this is gonna be a fourth shadow we took that layer, although there's not as, it's not gonna be as flighty. Oh, that gold. So it's a really good way to test out your skills with it. Yeah, especially with uh, there being quite a few slime here. Yeah. Ah. Boop. 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 The goat. Yeah, you gotta jump over. I know, I know. Ooh, that almost knocked me off. Now, as a note, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but if you're after a uh, shovel economy achievement, which means only using your shovel 20 times throughout a level, I believe what you need to do is use the propeller dagger to attack enemies whenever you can. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, yeah, you gotta go in from the top. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, you use the propeller dagger instead of your shovel, and it won't actually count. Alright. So... Which kind of cements this is one of the most useful items in the game, right? Ooh, that is a lot of finger. And actually, we should go back to the bar and give him back all his music sheets. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty then. Just do that really quickly, and we actually we should do some upgrades as well. Alright. Like getting magic as high as possible, I think. Whoa! You have nine music sheets! Magnificent! Take all my money! Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful! Let's see here! Oh, you found bucklers and bonnets! My suggestion is to incorporate anvils into this composition, was supposed to say. Ha! I say, make music, not war! Now that I have this music sheet, I fear that I'm not going to get any more of them. Well, there's two that we miss. Well, I know that. But the thing is, we're actually coming up on the end of the game, no. So there's not many coming in. Yeah. Alright, so... Can't see the gastronomer just yet. Oh. Yes! Do it! I can buy you some money, Alex. Oh, yes. Uh, of course. Uh, I can increase your maximum magic. Good. God damn it, Legend. I've been drinking too many of these alchemical potions for the late night. They, 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 I think they're changing my voice. Well, don't worry, we'll never have to talk to you again. God damn it, legend. <laughs> <laughs> I finally got the joke. <laughs> yeah, take it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we missing anything from this place? The uh, other suits of armor? Uh, let's double check. I don't know, we might actually have them all. No, I don't think so. See? We have them all in our test playthrough. Ah, okay. He uh, thinks we need the final card at this point. <laughs> <laughs> we need the final card for that uh, Tinker Knight episode, jeez. And I'll get this one too. 641 gold! Well, right. it's not like money's going to be that big of a problem. Out. So you can switch to the Dynamo Mail, the, the final card. I'm going back to the Dynamo, and that's it for this, so... We're Pretty much almost fully upgraded, all we're missing is the last two. And we only have one more uh, night- For legend. Uh, well, technically, uh, Leo, didn't you say you wanted to take on this level? Uh, I don't recall. Or do you want me to continue on? Uh, well, no, you already did your save, so it's legend. Wait, isn't the turn order legend? Well, we both just did once. Okay. Maybe you should have a go. Alright. Yeah, it technically is your turn. Alright, if we want to do it that way, so be it. Sharp Show us how it's done, platform. Sharp in that sh Sharpen my shovel. Go for a professor platform. <laughs> this is... I love the atmosphere of this level. I hate the level itself. 
Wolfie. I really hate this level. Oh, poor Wolfie. So I know can... they. The fun part is that even the enemies are being affected by the sliding physics, which is hilarious. Cause look at this. Watch those wolves. They can't get any traction at all. That is hilarious. Fastest enemies in the game in the slippiest, slidiest area in the game as well. That is funny as hell. All right. Well, second fastest. There's one enemy I can think of that's even faster. And they- Oh boy! I hate him. With a passion and a vengeance. I use, and a, a I use the fire rods for these guys. Are they actually weak to it? They actually do take damage to it. Fuck me! <laughs> Fuck me! Fuck me in the arse. Alright. That's a good sign of things to come. Hello everyone, I'm the Bard, and I'm going along with these three knuckleheads for a fun old time. Yeah. See, I'm not going to be getting any more music sheets, or at least not too many music sheets from here on out, so I guess I'll have a little bit of fun seeing how these guys can handle this terrain. Have you seen my buddy Chester yet? I hear he's got a real humdinger of a weapon for you. Something that I might actually like. Okay, 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 <laughs> stop right there. You have an Irish accent, but you're speaking with an Australian slang. What kind of criminal organization are you, buddy? <laughs> the noise guy. The one that pays you money. If you keep your mouth shut. Bye, Wolfie! Wow, dude. Wow. <laughs> By the way, I'm pretty sure you could use the mobile gear to get that. Buttle? Buttle? Buttle. But why would we use the mobile gear when we have the, uh... uh we try attacking the here. wall again a little further. Really? No. Uh, go up. Huh. Okay. There's nothing bump. Maybe you're thinking of another thing. Bump, bump. I might. Bump. Bump, 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 bump. Boom, boom, boom. I will say, this is a much different take on ice levels, which I do like. Uh, but at the same time, it's I, an ice level. It's still an ice level, and it's still horrible. There's bottomless pits, traps, spikes, all the crazy ass shit that you really don't like seeing in video games. Oh, you were gonna die! Oh, shit! It looks like a fantastic place for a guy to take his processing vacation. I mean, uh, Come here, you bastard. Well, I don't know. She might have a good time. I can't tell if she would like the haunting atmosphere or the fact that it's cold as balls. <laughs> <laughs> no, my balls are already cold, thank you. Uh, well, so much for a kid-friendly playthrough. Dude, yeah. any playthrough with me isn't going to be a kid-friendly playthrough. Kid-friendly? No, uh, kid-friendly. Fine, Dr. Wild. Oh, there you Yeah. Hit the snow. Snow! Don't get hit. Go, Spike's natural enemy! How does, how does this make sense? I have no fucking clue. I like to think that it's filling in the gaps. Oh, see me! So, bounce, destroy the wall, and we're no closer to our next weapon. Yeah. Uh, this next, here. I will honestly say, though, this next weapon is honestly one of my favorites. Honestly, this is the this is my version of, of the... Uh, Mobile gear in my arsenal, because even the mobile gear I find more use than this. I spammed the hell out of the weapon we get in this area. You know, it actually takes off like a whole chunk of the boss's health. No. Really? Yes, it is powerful. I wouldn't know that considering that it costs so much magic. I didn't care. It was five free shots. I would basically reduce the boss's health to half. And then I would go to town on Yeah, this stage shovel. has a lot more bombs in it. Also, the bit pro the bit problem. Yeah. It barks rainbows. Yep. <laughs> it is stupid. It is amazing. It is a horrible, horrible mechanic, and it is amazing. It is horrible. It is very, very, very horrible. And I wonder what they were what the level designer was thinking when he made this. I think he was on a sadistic streak. No, I think they were trying to find a, a better alternative for the moving platform thing, like in Mega Man, where you have to jump on the platform to make it change directions. 
And they were thinking like, well, shit, we should make it more intuitive. I know, let's make you hit it, so that way you go to hit, it goes in the direction you hit it. Okay, but it doesn't go in the direction, it just makes a platform that you have to chase after or you die. Yeah, which makes it more bullshit! Honestly, it's not that terrible. It's just an area later on in this game, I hate that area. Well, I think that's part of the reason why they introduced it so late. Also, it takes enemy hits, and can destroy enemies in one shot if you ran. Yes, which is nice, and it's a decent, uh... It's a decent way to make redeem it. Uh, go left. Go left. Go left. Go left. Oh shit! I didn't even notice this. Again. Again. Uh, hit again. Hit again. Hit again. Apple. Okay, that's it. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay, I think this is where I died in our test playthrough. Yep. Because you decided to go for the treasure. To be fair though, there's a lot of it here, so. So what are these guys? Hammer Dorn Vikings? Or are those axes? They're hammers. Don't you get hammered? Uh, I hate these guys. You think they're, they're not gonna... that bad, Dude, honestly? You just think that they're gonna throw them and hit you. Well, the thing is, they're doing this over a bottomless cliff, which is annoying! I will give you that. These guys are annoying, but they're not horrible. Yeah. Alright, so going up. I think we go to left. And the left is where we will find our hidden weapon for this area. Okay. Unlike other weapons, this thing is not used for exploration. In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. I swear to you. You're not going to believe what I've just found in this chest. This is the last time I swear. <laughs> oh my god. This... You are giving me a bomb. Well, that's what we call it now. It used to be my great aunt's solo. And yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> and gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Oh. Ooh, that would have been very bad. It'll insta kill pretty much every enemy in the game, which means it's basically the end. The I, uh, it's I don't want smart bomb. It's the smart bomb. It's the smart bomb. Yep. But it does take a. I will give you this. It does take quite a bit of magic to use. 20 magic points. Which means. Quick! No! 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 <laughs> Legend, your turn. Which means you can only use it, uh, I think, a maximum of 5 times, assuming max MP on a regular run. How much MP does the Conjurer's Coat give you? 50 more. It gives you 50 more. So you can only use it an additional 2. Yes. But, it is so powerful, it'll actually take off an entire boss. Says, uh, health bar. Yeah, watch out with those power swings, because it's going to knock you back. I can see that. And boosh. Actually, I feel that this area is better for Legend, because... Is, isn't friction fun? Hey, it should be mine anyway, because I did the ice I, ice RP, or the ice uh, thing for this. We'll let you fight Polar Knight. And that's how you should have actually proceeded, was by ramming them with the... Uh, you know, I did not even think of that. I'm yeah. Idiot. I am an idiot. And now Legend is going to go collect our go. No, I no. No, I thought that was gonna. I I swear that was gonna run you down and tackle you to your death. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just carefully navigating this thing so I can actually get to the other side. Uh, there we go. As a note, they respawn. Will, yeah, but as a note. The platform will not actually sink into the abyss. Watch. It just looks like it will. You just you don't need to tell why. Uh. See? Yeah. So you can actually fish off of this thing while you're over there. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on, because this next area I hate. Alright. Seriously, what were you doing there? Oh, it's this place. Uh Okay, let's see. I can switch to the this thing. If I can arrest my momentum, this won't be so bad. Money, money, money. Seriously, man, why? Because I like the money. the money. Oh, I need the money. And here is where the Warhorn is useful, but you really only need to kill the first guy. 
That would have actually gotten me an achievement if we hadn't already gotten it in previous in a in a test playthrough. Yes. <laughs> you okay there, Zero? That drop there made me almost choke on my soda. <laughs> no, don't drink soda while Legend is playing. <laughs> Makes you wonder what would have happened if you if he actually died. I I would have I would have probably. Would you have just done a spin take? <laughs> yeah, that would actually be kind of fun. I'd rather not get everything completely uh, coated in uh, uh, sticky soda. Oh my! Oh, huh? No! Uh, shut uh, up! Uh, shut up, Leo! Shut the flipping flip up! Well, it would have been more inappropriate if he said I didn't want to explode and make it all sticky. Okay, you need to jump up behind. I that. can't. No believe. Nothing. Nothing. Zero. Nothing. He's ignoring uh, it. A uh, legend. You need to go up. Pass there. Got it. <laughs> oh my! Looks like you're in kind of a pickle, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, why aren't you using the freaking uh, these heights? <laughs> oh, you know what? Screw it. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> I'm a goose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate you, legend. I hate you. Ah, oh, we love you so much, buddy. <laughs> team bag, team bagging the area. <laughs> Poor Wolfie. Fuck the Wolfie. Give me gold. I'm pretty sure that's a lot. There's plenty of websites that do that legend. I know. Uh. Now this music sheet is always giving me trouble. Oof. Where the fuck is the great? I think he despawned. So tell. You have to go back and then come forward. Uh... Yeah, it's not here. I have to lure one back. Oh, crap. Invisib invisibility gauntlet. Or... Well, he just wants to just kill him. <laughs> really? Yeah, well, it's fire and ice, dude. Okay. Damn it! <laughs> Seriously, why didn't you and use the And there's the drink! Why didn't you use the invisibility thing? The phase locket. Because... You... Oh. Bullshit. That's why. Nice. Okay. From here on, we use the phase locket. No, we do not. Let's use the air... Let's use the mobile gear! <laughs> Technically, that would work. Yeah, gold wins, actually. That is a horrible idea. <laughs> Let's use it! <laughs> well, you want to get the control back to me? Uh, this is going to be our longest episode. I can feel it. No, I, th I still think, like, uh, I think... How long did our uh, Tinker Night episode last? Uh, 22 minutes. Oh, okay, so yeah, this would be the long even longer than that. Okay. Just be sure that... Oh! And I was trying to avoid breaking those because I think they would have helped with that problem. Oh, come on, you mother! See, that's what I was worried about. Uh... Yes! There we go! Let his face lock the fuck out of there! Uh, you're fine. Just don't get the spice. And here we go. Finally! Now, I'm gonna say this right off the bat. This guy's giving me so much trouble. <laughs> uh, do you have something stuck in your throat? Well, my old friend, the day has finally come. This will be our final duel. 
Should we not lay down our shovels and part as equals? Hmm. The Order has no equals. Surely you recognize power. Join us. You've forgotten our oath. What happened to the proud warrior I knew? Hmm. No more words. The bitter cold will claim you. This? I was kind of hoping I would have to avoid this, because you honestly were not flown I was take lightly. This oh, is Polar Knight, an opponent that is often very bullshit. What do you mean often? He's As in always this. bullshit! His feel, his arena has spikes. No, he creates spikes to insta-kill you with. He has annoying snowball attacks. The fact that he constantly is changing the arena and the fact that he has a counter to the pogo bounce yeah. is annoying. Well, so does the bass, technically speaking. He has the lasso. Yes, but and then that he doesn't. Make... Okay, the lasso doesn't do damage back. Yeah, that's but the then the thing. thunder drop comes. Then the thunder drop comes, but that's after uh, some damage has been accrued. In this regard, you have to deal with that counter every single time you try to jump on it. Well, not every time, but if you try to repeatedly do it, then it will happen. Yes. And then, of course, you have the you final know. stage, so... Hey, hand it over, hand it over! Fine. Shield Knight! Save her! By the way, I actually have seen what happens if you lose. What does happen? If you lose all your health, he, crawl, he, he clamors for Shield Knight as, he fall, as she falls down. Oh. I have seen that. I thought you were talking about like what happens if you let her drop. Yeah, same thing. Uh, it just goes to white. And we get our Last final me meal, meal ticket. So, I now, guess... Now, note the music. I think it's the same. No, no it's, it's a little lower pitch. Alright, so now yeah. we gotta go change in our music and get the last meal ticket. Yep. So? I can't freaking believe it. You have two music sheets. I think I've almost got my entire collection. Ah, oh, let's see. Oh, you found the cold reception. How about you try penning a manuscript where it's so cold you can't feel your highly dexterous hands? Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you at any time! Any time! Please, ask me already! I would love to change the music! My god, you're changing the music! Uh, <laughs> sorry, but we're actually missing six more pieces. Seven, uh, eight... Ah, no! Which ones are those? Those? We're also missing 19 and 22. So, starting off, we're missing 19, 22, 29, 32, 40, 40 to 46. The last five are, well, the last five slash six, they're not a problem. It's the other ones that have become problematic. We'll get those off screen. Oh, no. Well, I would show, like, we well, about we record us getting the sheets and how we got them. We can cut out the rest of the level, but we'll go in and we'll edit them in in like a little forward to the rest of the music sheets. Fine. Hey! Hey! hey. All right, meal ticket. Hand it to me. I'll get to work on my best recipe. I'll dazzle your palate in no time or less. So bon appetit and put in the final mess. So what will you be making this time? My greatest hey. recipe ever. I have no idea what that is. I want to say that's a tail of something. Looks like it maybe an ox tail, maybe. Or a griffin tail. <laughs> uh, let, we'll talk to him. He's got one last thing to say. Your max wealth is full and your hunger is sated. Just look at the strapping strong knight I've created. Hey! Relic, oh yes. Wait. Already quite the accomplished page, I see. Sorry, don't think I can help you quite any further. Yep, so now we... Thanks for buying my meal tickets. I'm all out now. I had more, but they became meals before I arrived. We've already talked to these people, so... Last thing we need to do is it pick up... a bad pun. It's headed and get the final armor, the the Magistus armor. Conjurer's coat. Conjurer's coat. I mean. 
I believe I actually beat the game with this. Also, uh, fun little fact. Yeah. Yeah, you can do this ad infinitum. Yeah, it's just, awesome. It'll just keep spurting out another uh, health item. Which is useful if you need to recover magic, and actually, no, it doesn't. Because you have to play the porn, and because the magic thing actually gives you 20 points. Oh, uh, so it's, <laughs> so it's just that. a constant loop thing there. Yeah. <laughs> it does not give you any more magic. Uh, let's switch <laughs> back to the uh, Dynamo Mail. Or this. No. <laughs> yeah! Yes! Actually, yes, we will have to, but. All Do right. the flips! Do the amazing back front flips! All right, actually, we look do at all these colorful animations. All right, enough faffing about, guys. Let's head outside. Oh. Okay, mom. We're already running it. Go out and get stung by bees. Yeah. <laughs> all right. In the next episode, we take on the final challenge. Well, the final challenge. We is. take on the Tower of Fate at the very base. See you next time! Later, guys. This is going to be a harrowing climb.